Hi and welcome to the paint pod. Today I'm going to talk to you about which airbrush you should choose and this is a question that many people ask and very often they get a frustrating reply. I know certainly when I was looking at which airbrush to choose I was going round and round and round in circles and I think ultimately what you have to do is really go out there and try some. If you've got a shop near you where you can go and try it, brilliant. Maybe some of your friends have got an airbrush, if you can try those, that's great. Ultimately, I decided to try the Badger 105 Patriot. Uh, I did a little bit of research online. I'd heard a lot of, about people who were having difficulty with their airbrush clogging and replacing bits and pieces and lots of little seals and springs, etc. to try and maintain. When I was researching about the Badger 105 Patriot, I chose it because it's been engineered to have as few pieces as possible and what I will do in a separate video is dismantle this one and rebuild it just to show you. Um, it means that the needle and nozzle is much simplified and less likely to clog and also you can probably see at the back there's like a little opening you can see a little ring there that's a, a, a chuck if you just loosen that off you can take the needle out and clean it without having to dismantle any of the rest of the brush. Also this brush seems to be readily available at a discount. I think it's about £100, £110 full price. You can, it seems you can quite readily get it for around the £85, £90 mark as a set. The other thing that I liked about this one is that you can get different needle and nozzle combinations um, so at the minute I've got a 0.35 mil installed which I find great for normal sort of games workshop size miniatures like marines that kind of thing but you can also have a 0.5 mil needle which really chucks out an awful lot of paint so it's great for base coating especially something like a large tank you can even go up to I think it's a 0.7 or a 0.75 mil needle nozzle combination I'm not really sure that would be very useful for you with miniatures painting but if you were deciding to do something more like painting the, the tank on a motorbike perhaps or, or on cars, that kind of thing, maybe that would be more useful for you. Um, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you are finding all my videos useful, please head over to Patreon. Um, membership starts from only $1 per month. I've kept it as low as possible and uh, your support would be greatly appreciated so that I can improve the number and quality of the videos that I'm producing for you. Thank you very much.